on visiting ice. You can't blind match, so you don't know that you're going to be on the ice every time those two players are together. That's one thing that Jay Pendolfo can try to adjust here. Right to the middle, and Peterson couldn't get that one cleanly on goal. Blocked by Drew Fortescue. And they do have Celebrini and Gauthier marked up against each other right now in this opening shift. Of course, both top lines are out there for these powerhouse teams. Here's Tom Willander, 11th overall pick of the Canucks this past draft. Celebrini across to Lane Hudson, playing now in his sixth career game against BC. Hasn't scored a goal against the Eagles yet. Tight angle shot there, couldn't get it past Fowler. And it's back out to the Terrier line. Yeah, it looks like he had a, a little bit of room there. And Fowler kind of did one of those, put the blocker in, in back of my, my right side. Here. Jack Harvey has been inserted into the lineup. And all of that because Devin Kaplan out with a lower body injury in front to Celebrini, but he couldn't settle the puck. And here comes the speedy cutter, Gauthier. Hockey East leader with 18 goals, including an empty netter late last night. But he had to give it up this time to Quinn Hudson. Long feet ahead, four on four to Macklin Celebrini. Powell's there with him, and he took it right off his stick. Heyman Powell, one of the more underrated players in Hockey East, made a nice play there. If he was stretching the ice out right there, finding Celebrini, a long stretch pass. That's the type of speed you want. Use the puck for your speed. Quinn Hudson gets it to his younger brother, Lane. Canadian second rounder a couple of years ago. Now it's Celebrini moving to the slot, and Fowler turned him away, just like he did several times last night at County Forum. Yeah, I thought Fowler was just fan. I mean, both goaltenders were fantastic last night. It truly was a ball. Game. He played 94 games in Scarlet and White, and Armstrong a big part of that Frozen Four run for the Terriers last year. Tom Willander, good keep, will sling it along to Lane Hudson. He shimmies toward the center point. Cuts back, threw it on, didn't get the tip toward goal into the corner for Willander. He'll slide it around, and a shoulder there from Shane Lachance. As the fourth line is back out there again for Jay Pandolfo. Heavy hit from Stevens against his former line mate, Jamie Armstrong. Now Lachance threw it toward the middle, swatted out by Bankston. Gustafson got it all the way down, and the retreat is on for Willander. Out that Friday. Now it's Oscar Yelvi. Top line is out there. Two Bruins prospects and Cutter Gauthier. Gauthier's got it, and he fired that loose puck high. Shot back to him by Powell, another shot. That one blocked by Willander. Pushed it ahead to Macklin Celebrini. Cuts back toward the blue line, feathered it through. Bouncing toward Fowler, but it stayed out. Peterson turns away from Gasso. Double team in the corner, couldn't get it back to the point. Gasso slowed him down. He's been phenomenal in these games, scored in all five in his career. Willander, stick fail, had to give it up, and he's got no stick to defend with, but Yelvi couldn't settle the real good effort on that with the left foot, but couldn't keep it out. Here come the Eagles again. Oscar Yelvik in that second power play unit is out there. Throws it inside, hoping for Malone. Rejected out to Bankston. Now Gustafson top of the circle, watched by Tuck. And it's Bankston straight away again. Gustafson surveys his options with Tuck lurking. He'll walk it to the corner, and they bring it around to Yelvik. Threw it to Bankston. Malone, the Cornell transfer, misfire, but yelvik has got space to get there. One timer blocked, fired to the corner. Good bid there from Bankston. Tuck racing after it, battling with Gasso, and it just skids back to the neutral zone. Nice job there by Tuck. He wins that one on one right along the boards, gets a little bit of breathing room for these penalty killers. Malone goes down deep. Final seconds ticking off the boarding penalty on Peterson. The door is open, he's back to the ice. Possession continues for BC. Hammer from the circle, loose for Gustafson. He scores! That next thing you know, we're now four on four for the next minute 54 or so. Lane Hudson goes to work with Yelvik marking him. A scamper to the circle, dropped it back to Celebrini. Another tough assignment for Yelvik. Ian Hudson continued playing catch. Now the puck finds Willander, gets to the circle, fires a shot, but Gauthier altered that one. His defense has really shown up this weekend. He gets so many headlines for being the Hockey East leader with 18 goals, but he can really do it all. Everybody chasing uh, Jack Devine of Denver, who's got 21 goals on the national stage. Across to Hershock. No, it's Quinn Hudson picking it off. How much longevity these types of jobs have. He's been here for quite some time. He's done a fantastic job with his athletic programs here as well. There's Jakob Bankston going down deep, but Aiden Celebrini's there to take it away. Final four minutes of the opening period as Celebrini gets rid of Mike Posma, which gets a rise from the crowd. They haven't had a whole lot to cheer about tonight. Haven't had a whole lot to cheer about this weekend. Boston College 
held serve on their home ice with a 4-1 win yesterday. Really a 2-1 game with a couple of empty net goals late from Gauthier and Gasso. But a well-earned win for the Eagles who well, just a couple of weeks ago were knocked out of the top spot of the nation. Perot took it away from Grimes. Hops over Celebrini, but nothing comes of it. It was a seven-game win streak for BU, and then a surprising loss to North. Joyce wins the faceoff. It's four to skew. One-timer from Powell. Save Karan. The rebound came to Gentry Schamberger, but he was neutralized. Now Tuck turns and finds Stevens two on two. Nice stick work. Came that uh, BC coach Greg Brown says everybody likes except the coaches. He <laughs> said nightmares. He said <laughs> gives them nightmares. And he remembers winning a 9-6 game last year at home against these Terriers. The highest scoring game in this rivalry since Greg Brown was a skater for BC. Centering feed. Tie game. It's Sam. Those two teams out west. Lane Hudson scampers onside. Parried by Powell. Pushes it out to Jeremy Wilmer. Slides it near Celebrini, but Smith able to smack it out. He lost his stick, though. Perot will drag it in. Leonard will get it in the corner. And around it goes to the other end as Fortescue pinches deep. Smith got his stick back. Quinn Hudson works it ahead, and he'll find a way out. It's Wilmer. Macklin Celebrini darting to the net. Wilmer dropped it back for Quinn Hudson. Holding, shooting, and how about Got the winning goal, and here he is. Right around the spot, he scored the championship winner last year. Ryan Leonard's not giving him any room. Still found the loose puck, goes down deep to the corner. Looking for his first career goal against Boston College. This is the sixth time he's played in the Battle of Kamau, four times last year. Almost gave it up to Smith, but his brother Quinn helps him out. Fired it across, hard off the stick of Macklin Celebrini. Well, Lander from distance, saved by Fowler, rebound off the skates of Jeremy Wilmer. Celebrini powers his way to the middle. Puck came back to him off of Quinn Hudson's stick. Celebrini with Smith behind him. Got it down low to Hudson anyway. Loose stick there. Hudson has to deal with that. Gets it across to Celebrini. Curls away from Perot. Macklin Celebrini fired it high. Rebound to Willander. He'll touch it behind the cage. Bumped by Hershuk Manedian. Pushed it up ice, but Quinn Hudson picked it off. Over to Celebrini, plenty of room, feather through, and they couldn't get it on goal. Rebound stopped by Fowler. He denied Quinn Hudson. Lane Hudson is there straight away. Good long possession for BU. Across to Quinn Hudson, couldn't bury it on the pass from his brother. Off the glass and out, and the Eagles can take a sigh of relief, but not a line change. A change the complexion of this entire game. He was just a little kid in 09, the last time BU won the national championship, but he's in the team photo down in Washington, D.C. He definitely wasn't 6'5 back then. Here's Wilmer looking for Hudson, but it's off the back of the net. Quinn will bring it around to Jeremy Wilmer. Now it's Macklin Celebrini again. Shot from the circle, blocked by Gustafson. Bankston brings it around the wall. Hudson creates some space. Soster to Will Lander, a kick to the stick. Quinn Hudson behind the net. Now it's Wilmer approaching the final six minutes of period two. Final half minute of the power play. Wilmer bumped by Hershuck, will stay on the puck. Turns back to the circle, Wilmer down low. Turnaround shot from Tuck, stopped by Fowler. They do blow the win. Those two unanswered goals that tied the game for a brief spell. No stick for Luke Tuck. And that cost the Terriers the blue line. Yelvik with a chip in. 10 seconds left on the power play. Tuck has a stick now. He'll give the puck to Wilmer. At the circle, and that run. Gasso today feels like a lot better, but 7 for 11 on the draw. Another penalty kill. Look at Lane Hudson stick handling. But he meets John Leonard, Ryan Leonard, and uh, it's lost his edge. Fortescue took a hit in the corner, shrugged it off from Peterson, and Yelvi couldn't skate it out of there. Terriers are changing up, but Peterson still able to possess until Fortescue knocked it free. Yelvik now. He's got the only two-point night out of anybody on the ice tonight, and Gauthier testing Karan. He 
has the difference making goal so far as 19th of the season to lead Hockey East. That's swept ahead by Quinn Hudson. Does he have enough gas in the tank? One against your rival yet again next a week from now. But you've got a game in between that means just as much for league points. That, that, that's the tough part about this part of the schedule. Being part uh, pre-week and in-between week, I think, are always the hardest. That goes off of Gasso's skate. The LV and Stevens battling for it. Comes out to Grimes, but now Gasso kept it in. Cutter Gauthier rips one on goal. Bounces ahead to Will Smith. He's waiting for some help. It comes in the form of Schamberger, but a change coming behind. Karan's going to play that puck. Schamberger, the only one who realized it. But then he's pinned down by Willander, and it's Peterson ahead. Speeds past Joyce. Dylan Peterson all by himself goes down. And now Joyce threw it back to the corner. Tuck out to Stevens. Across it goes. Aiden Celebrini centering feed. Bounced wide. Into the corner, Tuck and Joyce. Now it's Gasso. Open ice for Gustafson. Spins one down toward Garan. Icing the call. You got to make sure that you play like a, a as tough as you're trained to play. There's another icing here for Boston College. But yeah, he mentions the offensive zone draw. Hudson to Willander down low, blocked by Gustafson. Dragged ahead by Green, dangling toward the middle around Bankston. Feeds Hudson through a crowd, never got there. Joyce with the block and he swats it out. 16th block shot now for these Eagles. Eamon Powell, he is just not giving any space in the defensive end, and he forces the turnover. Malone ahead of the pack. All the way around to Ambrosio. Good idea for Armstrong, but Quinn Hudson had the same idea. Malone. Works it around to Stevens. At the point, it's Powell. Right back in there, Celebrini trying to take it away from Armstrong. Squirts loose for Hudson. And now will Lander, under seven minutes to go. Good breakout pass for Celebrini. Quinn Hudson was not on. Timer for Smith. Might be early for desperation mode for BU, but the urgency is rising here. These next couple of shifts for BU, it's about finding a way to get the momentum back on your side. Then if you want to pull the goalie with three, three and a half minutes left, I think you're justified. There's Malone moving ahead with Armstrong. Jamie Armstrong having a good week against his old team. Malone didn't get all of that backhand. And the only fans making noise right now are rooting for the Eagles. Case McCarthy behind. Shot blocked right to Lane Hudson with 3.35 left. Filter that one down for Stevens. Minetti him outworked him. And he'll bring it ahead to Smith. And there's another smart play. Line change. Get it down deep. Kill some more clock. Terrier's changing as well. And it bounces free to the Eagles line. Now it's 3 minutes, 15 seconds left. It's now it's time to start thinking about the goaltender pull. Had a chance or two last night, six on five, but nothing major materialized. It was a good look ahead.